October 18th, 10am, District Court, courtroom number 4. This is Turnabout Samurai, day 2, trial. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Prosecution is ready, Your Honour. The defence is ready, Your Honour. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. The prosecution will show the court that at 2.30pm on October 15th, the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, killed fellow actor Jack Hammer in Studio One of Global Studios. It is impossible for anyone else to have committed this heinous crime. The evidence presented during the trial will all point to this fact. Hmm, I see. Very well, I'd like to move on to some testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, the prosecution may call its first witness. Very well, I call a most familiar face, Detective Gumshoe, to the stand. Detective, if you would briefly describe this case to the court. Yes, sir. I'll explain with the guide map here. To understand this case, it's important to grasp the layout of the studios, see? This here is the employee area. Oops. The actors did a run-through of their action scenes during the morning here. This is the main gate to the studios. The security lady that works at the studios was here at 1pm on that day. Past the security station there is a gate, see? Past that are the studios. And here it is, Studio One. This is the scene of the murder where the body was found. Now, on the day of the murder, October 15th, there were only three people here. The victim, Jack Hammer, the defendant, Will Powers, and a young woman, the production assistant. All the production staff were in the employee area until noon. Then after lunch, the victim, Jack Hammer, went to Studio One. Right after that, at 1pm, the security lady got to the guard station. Now, jump out later that day, 5pm, the production staff came to Studio One to perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was cancelled. Time of death was 2.30 p.m. The samurai spear found lodged in the victim's chest was the murder weapon. That's the case in brief. Anyone like to hear that again? Hmm, should I listen to the whole thing again? I think I can probably remember that. So the murder weapon was a spear? How medieval. Samurai spear added to the court, we court record. Your Honor. This case is quite simple if you ask one question, and that question is, what did the security lady at the guard station see? Understood. Let's call a security officer to the stand. Will the witness declare her name? Hmm? My, aren't you a handsome fellow? I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. Y your name, please. Uh, oh, oh dear, no need for you to become embarrassed. Just call me Grandma. Your name, please. Seems Edgeworth has a bit of trouble getting his witnesses to say their names. Wendy Oldbag, dearie. So just call me Grandma. That's right for my name. It's my tongue was an old bag. Right, it's my name, dearie. It's no time to me my name. You believe it? But that was this boy. Captain, when he called me an old bag, well, that's cried and cried to crush him. See. <gasps> Uh, objection! I object to the witness's talkativeness. Objection sustained. The witness will refrain from rambling on the stand. I was just getting to the good part, dearie. Perhaps we can get to the testimony. Now, the witness was stationed at the main gate on the day of the murder, correct? Yes, he I was. And to get to the scene of the murder, someone would have to pass by you. You know your stuff, dearie. You may begin your testimony. She sure is one hell of an old bag. Wow, rude. Witnesses account. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1pm. Poor old Hammer and the rest have been doing a run through there since the morning. I, well, I had some errands to run that morning. Anyway, it was 1 o'clock when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from there until 5. Now, the murder happened at 2.30pm, right? Interesting to me, because a certain man walked right by me at 2pm. At 2pm? It was Powers, that man right there, and he was heading toward the studio. You saw the defendant, then? Hmm. Very well, let's begin the cross-examination. Mr. Wright? Yes, Your Honour. Hmm. 
Yeah, I think basically what we need to do is point out that the man who walked by at 2 p.m. was wearing a costume, so there's no way to know if it was Mr. Powers or not. I believe that's what we have to point out. Uh, so let's give that a try. Objection! Let me get this straight, old bag. Uh, Miss Old Bag. Notice the music stopped? Um, that's actually a cue that the game gives you that you've given the right, like, piece of evidence. If you object and it's wrong, then the cross-examination music keeps playing. You've been saying since yesterday that you saw Mr. Powers, correct? But you're talking about the man in this photo, aren't you? J just a moment, Mr. Wright. Let me see that photo. What is this exactly? None other than the Steel Samurai, defender of Neo Oldie Tokyo. Miss Oldbag, is this the Mr. Powers that you saw? Of course! Didn't your mama teach you any sense, Sonny? Anyone can plainly see that's Powers, right? No, they can't! Um, well, I mean, I wonder. True, Mr. Powers does play the role of the Steel Samurai. But that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. I, I know that. I wasn't born yesterday. No one in this course is accusing you of that, Miss uh, Witness. He's having trouble calling her old bag, apparently. However, you don't have proof that the person in this photo is Mr. Will Powers, do you? Hmph. <laughs> Nosy old man. Of course I have proof. What? Huh? Even Edgeworth is surprised? Prosecution would like to ask the old... the witness. Please make known all the information in your possession ahead of time. How was I know everyone would be so nosy? You should be ashamed, all of you. Anyway, I showed that photo to the young detective. He told me this isn't any good as evidence, pal. He didn't even give it a second look. Wow, old windbag has left even Edgeworth speechless. She's good. Let's hear about your proof, then. The man in the photo. I never say anything I don't mean, mind you. That morning, during the run-through of the action scene, I saw Powers trip and fall. He broke one of his props, it was a big mess. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Now, look at that picture. You can see he's dragging his leg, see? Clear as day. That's how I knew it was Powers, happy? Hmm, so he had sprained his ankle. Very well, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. She's gotta be hiding something. I'll press her until she squeals. Yeah, we do need to press a couple of different spots here. Uh... Hold it! He broke a prop? Sure did. His own samurai spear. His samurai spear? The murder weapon? Luckily, I was there with my duct tape to fix it. This strikes me as a significant detail. I'd better write this down in the court record. Samurai Spear updated in the court record. Hold it. Trip and fall? Yes, and to think he's supposed to be the Steel Samurai. What a laugh. So Power sprained his ankle. I helped make it better for him, of course. You... help make it better? I kissed it where it hurt. L let's just skip over that part, shall we? Where was the assistant, then? Oh, her? She was cleaning up backdrops, I think. She didn't know about Power's ankle. Hmm. You may continue your testimony. Okay, so we've got some important clues here. Firstly, this thing was been broken and repaired with duct tape, which means it probably isn't a murder weapon. Because... How are you going to stab someone with such a flimsy thing? Through a thick costume, at that matter, for that matter. I think we've heard enough. Haven't we, Your Honor? Well, there's one thing that bothers me. Which is... Where is this steel samurai costume now? Um, hmm. Actually, well, we couldn't find it. We're looking, though. Hmm. Anyway, that's not important. 
The witness did see the steel samurai, yes. And it is clear that the person in the steel samurai costume, steel, steel samurai suit, was Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. I suppose that's right. Are you sure you're sure, Your Honor? Hold it right there. We keep talking possibilities, but we have to agree that this photo shows the steel samurai. Nowhere in this photo can we see Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. The defense has a point. I also wonder if someone else not caught on camera could have killed Mr. Hammer. We have to consider that possibility also. And allow me to remove that doubt from your mind, Your Honor. Will the witness continue her testimony, please? No need to ask twice. Witness's account continued. The time of Paul Hammer's death was 2.30pm, true? The only person I saw go to the studio before then was Will Powers. No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. Hmm. So if no one else went to the studio, then it would have to be this steel samurai who did it. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Okay, our problem here is that apparently no one else went there. But if you look at the photo we have here, on the back it says photo number two, which implies that at least one other person must have gone there for the first photo to be taken. Uh, so we're gonna object and present the photo again. Objection! Hold on. Look at this photograph one more time. This photo was taken by the camera at the gate for the studios, correct? Yes sir, sonny. So whenever anyone passes by here, it automatically takes a picture? And here I thought you didn't know your head from a hole in the ground. Right, anyway. It's also true that the computer in the guard station records all security cam data. Ooh, you know, if you wanted to work at the studio, we might have an opening. That very computer printed out this photo. Notes on the back of the photo are printed the words, October 15, 2pm, photo number 2. Even I know that means it was taken at 2pm on October 15th. Really, Sonny. Actually, I knew that too. The issue here is the bit at the end where it says, Photo number 2. Photo number 2? The computer only held data for one photo on that day. Don't you think that that's odd? Shouldn't this photo be photo number 1 if it really was the only photo? Order! Order! Please tell the court you mean by this, Mr. Wright. Actually, that's what I wanted to ask the witness. This evidence shows that not one, but two people went to the studio that day. Yet there is only data for one of the photos. Who could have erased the data for the other photo? Only someone with access. Security lady herself. Now, you might start... Oddly enough, you might start to wonder if it's... If Will Powers actually did the killing, like... There's a photo of him going to the studio, but he was found in the employee area, so there should be a photo of him coming back, but there isn't. So... It, it just doesn't make sense on the face of it, if you think about it. Um... You watch your mouth, Ripper Snapper. The only person I saw that day was Will Powers. But the camera on the gate fired twice. That means two people went by. Or, you know, one person went there and then went back. But photo number two is of them going there, so... Yeah, this, this whole part of the case, if you think about it for a second, it doesn't really make sense. <laughs> um, well, yes, that's what it would seem to mean. Um, when you figure out what actually did happen, it makes a bit more sense, but... Based on what they're claiming, it's not, it's not a coherent thing, because there's no possible way he could have gotten back without any of the photos firing within that time. It's weird. No one just explain this to the court. Um, ahem. Uh, I don't understand these newfangled computer things. Um, edgy boy, help! Huh? B believe me, I, I want to, but I don't know what this means either. Hm. Some help you are. You're a whippersnapper too. Whippersnapper? Something the matter, Miss Oldbag? Ah, that's right. I, I just remembered something. Let me guess. Someone else passed by the gate? Someone other than the Steel Samurai? Uh, well, yes, I suppose you could put it that way. <sighs> I see. Your testimony, please. 
the other person. Every day after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. I go through the photos recorded on the security computer and check them. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see. Come to think of it, now I remember throwing out one photo that day. Miss Old Bags, it's the first I've heard of this. Well, of course, Sonny, I've only just remembered it. Right, anyway, Mr. Wright, please begin the cross-examination. Well, I'd say this was a turn for the unexpected, but I kind of expected this. Maya doesn't say that much if you know what you're doing. It's interesting. She has a lot of, a lot of like, hints and stuff if you can't figure out what to do in each testimony. But I already know what to do, so she doesn't seem to say a whole lot. Anyway, uh, the problem here is basically we want to know what that photo is, so we're just going to want to press this spot. Hold it! Well, who in the heck was in that photo you erased? Hmm, a fanboy. Fanboy? Still samurai fanboys, real freaks if you ask me. I get information about the rehearsals from gosh knows where. They're always hanging about. One was there that day. But wait a second, didn't you just say no one else could get in? I locked the main gate so no one could get in, those were your words. Well, if you must know, there's a drain that goes into the employee area. The grate has been loose for a while. It leads outside, and well, that's where they come in. They come in through the drain? I told you they were freaks. Oh, and... And? They're kids. Children. Whippersnappers. Kids? So, on the photo that you erased, there's a boy, probably second or third grade. What? Uh, order, order. Let me get this straight. You saw two people pass by the gate on their way to the studios that day. One was the steel samurai dragging his leg, the other was a boy who looked to be in about second or third grade? Oh, yes, but well, we see he's typed there every day. Can't stop him, can't catch him. Boy in second or third grade, hmm. I assume it would be hard, if not impossible, for a young boy to wield the samurai spear. Impossible, I think. It's quite heavy. Right, as I said, I didn't pay him much mind. That's why I erased the data. Um, Nick, what's going on? I mean, the boy was there. That makes him a suspect. Yeah, I'm already trying to unsuspect him. This court will take a five-minute recess. I want the defense and the prosecution to consider this new information. And no forgetting vital information this time. October 18, 11.08 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 3. Mr. Powers? E yes? Tell me straight, were you really in your dressing room? You didn't go to the studio? I didn't go to the studio. I was sleeping, honest. So who was the Steel Samurai in that security photo? How should I know? The Steel Samurai costume was off in the corner of the dressing room. Anyone could have walked in and taken it, really. What? You should take better care of that stuff. I couldn't imagine anyone would want to steal a Steel Samurai costume. So where does that leave me? It doesn't look good. <laughs> You're the only likely suspect right now. Nick! But what are we gonna do? First we play for more time. We'll start targeting someone else that could conceivably have done this. Right. And it'll take them so long to shoot us down that we can get another day. Right, but if we pick the wrong person, we might lose on the spot. You don't sound very optimistic. I'm not optimistic at all, actually. Hey Nick, it's time. Okay, let's go. <sighs> what does that mean? Please don't sigh like that. <laughs> Back into court. Court will now reconvene for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Mr. Edgeworth, will you present the prosecution's thoughts on this matter? Prosecution's thoughts are simple. Nothing has changed. The other person who went to the studio was a boy of roughly 10 years of age. The photo we do have may not be hard evidence, but there's still no one else that could have committed this crime. I call for a verdict of guilty for the defendant, Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. Very well, Mr. Wright, your thoughts? The defense disagrees with the prosecution's claim. There is another person who could have committed this crime. Order. Interesting. Let us hear who you have in mind. However, 
Be aware that this court does not look kind on accusingly innocent. If you accuse someone who is obviously innocent, you will be penalised. Right, great. As if the stakes weren't high enough. So who was this person other than Mr. Powell who could have committed murder? It's Wendy, Wendy Oldbag. I don't know why she would, but she could have done. It was the security lady, Wendy Oldbag. Wh who? Steel Samurai is dragging his leg in this picture. That means whoever was in the suit knew about that morning's injury. Maybe because they had been watching the action scene run through. There was only one person other than Powers and Hammer who knew about the injury. The security lady, old bag. But what? With a snapper? Order, order. I is this true, old bag? Old bag? That's Ms. Old bag to you. Ms. Old bag was standing guard alone at the main gate. She was by herself. In other words, she has no alibi. She could have briefly left her post to steal the sam steel samurai costume. Then slipped into Studio One, the scene of the murder. But why would she go through the trouble of wearing the Steel Samurai costume? Simple, Your Honor. She knew the camera at the gate would take a picture. If she was in his costume, she could point the finger at Mr. Powers. I see. Excellent deductive reasoning, Mr. Wright. Oh yeah, right here. Sherlock Holmes too, baby. That's odd. Isn't this the part where Edgeworth pounces? Doesn't he usually jump up with an objection and some new damning evidence? Well, Mr. Edgeworth, does the prosecution have an opinion on this matter? The prosecution has no meaningful objections at this time. W what? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, so you all think I did it. Is that it? Edgy boy, don't just sit there, do something. What's my move? Maybe now's my chance to take this the whole way? <laughs> hmm. Yeah. The very same reasoning that makes Mr. Powers a suspect in this case can be used to cast doubt on Ms. Oldbag's actions on that day. But, but why would I do something so horrible to poor Hammer? You forgot that Mr. Powers likes a clear motive too. Hmm, indeed. That did it. Now Windbag is one of the suspects. No hard feelings, I hope. Wait just a minute. What about the other person who went to the studio? The boy, the one whose photo I erased. He's only a grade schooler though, as you said. Second or third grade, was it? But that doesn't matter. When I was that age, I could pin my old man in ten seconds, tops. Hmm. Your thoughts, Mr. Wright? That boy is not the killer. What? How can you be so sure? Oh, or is it be nice to the kids and mean to your elders day, whippersnapper? I have proof. P proof Indeed? Then let's see that proof, this proof, Mr. Wright. Do you have proof that shows the boy could not have committed this murder? Um, I mean, the murder weapon is pretty heavy. Is that the answer? Verona, the murder weapon was the samurai spear. That very spear is shown here in this photo. How could the boy have taken the spear? It's impossible. I see. Well, would the witness care to comment on this? The windbag, speechless. This has got to be a first. Very well. This court will suspend proceedings on the current trial for today. Mr. Edgeworth, please find out more about your witness. Miss Windy, what was her name? Something old bag, your honor. And the prosecution will look further into this old bag before we continue. That is all. This court is adjourned. Well, wait a second. I'm not gonna just sit here while you run off barking up the wrong tree. Me? I'm talking. Oh great, stop the presses. The windbag wants to talk. Miss Oldbag, what is this all about? Have you omitted something in your testimony? Actually, if you must know, there's something I was told not to talk about. Not to talk about? But by whom? Huh? You mean it wasn't Edgeworth who told him not to talk? So he said by whom that time, he didn't in the previous case. W well, testify! My lips were sealed. Global Studios wanted me to keep quiet about something. There were some other people at the studios on the day of the murder. They said they had nothing to do with it, see? So they told me to just pretend they hadn't been at the studios that day. But if you're gonna go accusing me, I'm not letting them get away scot-free.
Miss Oldberg, this is crucial information. Why did you keep this from the court until now? Ain't you been listening? They told me to shut my trap, and I always do what I'm told. No, this isn't a bad dream, Your Honor. Witness the power of the old bag. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Hold it. Who were these people? Well, the director and the producer, for starters. The director? We should have known something was fishy. How could they have had done an, a run-through of their action scene without a director? Of course. Yes, well, I was surprised no one asked about it. So, where were these new people? These people. The director was in the employee area all morning for the run-through. He joined the producer around lunchtime, and they had a meeting after that. Where? Oh, in the Studio 2 trailer. S studio 2? There was a Studio 2? Well, if you look at the guide map, here it is. You go through the gate and all the way to the left. The path where the monkey's head was fallen over. Well, Mr. Wright, would you like to continue the cross-examination? I think I've already asked all my questions, but... Your Honor, we have learned that there were others at Global Studios on the day in question. The director and the producer, and, uh, some bigwigs, were all present. Yet, as we stand here, they have not been questioned. I hold that it is impossible to declare a verdict on the defendant, Mr. Powers. Hmm. The court acknowledges the defense's point. The prosecution will gather more information about the witness, Miss Oldbag, and more information about these other people we have just been told of. I understand, Your Honor. This ends the day's proceedings in the trial of Mr. Will Powers. That is all. This court is adjourned. October 18th, 1.04pm, District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 3. Thank you so much, Mr. Wright. I was right to ask you to defend me. Oh, really? It's nothing. Gr grin. Grin! I, I don't... <laughs> Again, grins don't make a noise. <laughs> Oh, well, should I... <laughs> We're going down to the studios to do some more investigating. We have to find out more about this director and producer. But we're turning up in the next trial as witnesses for certain. So now's my chance to get material for the cross-examination. So, Nick. Have we figured out just who, who it was in that steel samurai costume? Could it really have been old Windbag? What do you think, Mr. Powers? I don't think it was her, really. Neither do I, Nick. Y yeah, I know. Look, I was just buying time back there. Someone had to be the bad guy for a bit to take the pressure off Mr. Powers. Poor old windbag. I feel kind of sorry for her. Well, she wasn't winning any points there, with or without my accusation. Okay, let's get this down to the stu- let's get down to the studios. Right, we'll be back to visit you soon. Th thanks. Thanks, guys. <laughs> and that's the trial day complete. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Next time, we move on to the next part of the investigation. Pretty exciting. Um, yeah. That's it for this video. Bye!